Welcome to the Absolute Carnage finale, right here at Comic Storian. Your home for getting your dramatic readings to your favorite comic books, video game lore, and movies. The series Absolute Carnage is the summer event over at Marvel Comics, and has had a ton of tie-ins and a ton of issues, but here's a very fast gist of the whole thing. Cletus Cassidy was raised from the dead by the god of the symbiotes, and he discovered that anybody who has ever had a symbiote keeps a piece of it in his spine. In order to become the ultimate version of Carnage, Cletus has been taking the spines out of anyone who has ever used a symbiote. Venom and Spider-Man were trying to battle against him, but Venom decided that Eddie was too weak, leaving Eddie to his own devices. So Eddie did what any sane man would do, combined with the pieces of every symbiote to chase down Carnage. The final fight is upon us. Eddie versus Cletus. Carnage versus Venom. And now we begin Absolute Carnage. Number 5 Riker's Island Years ago, Cletus Cassidy looks up with a smile of an insane person pulling across his lips. Would you like to know why you're gonna die? He asks. I mean, I'm happy for the company, but you know you're basically gonna die, right? The guard shuts the door, telling them to play nice. And Eddie continues to stare at the man before finally speaking. I want the bottom bunk. I ain't have any where I can't see you. He grumbles and Cassidy just smiles. Smart, smart, smart. More than the last guy that was in here. Earned my 11th life sentence on that one. Did he just call you Brock? Cassidy asks. Yeah, Eddie Brock. So Cletus pulls himself onto the top bunk, looking back on the man. I've heard of you. You're that Venom guy. You're like me. Maybe I won't kill you. Eddie pulls off his shirt, telling Cletus that they're nothing alike. Now shut up and go to sleep. He snarls. But Cletus just keeps smiling, putting in his earbuds. You don't have to be so rude. We can be friends. In fact, I think you and I have a beautiful future ahead of us. And back in our current day, Carnage laughs as Eddie catches up to him, slamming the monster into the wall hard enough to crack the concrete. They tumble with Eddie rolling up fast. Isn't it so wonderful, Daddy? It's all happening. Can't you hear him? Breathing. He's almost awake. <laughs> The psycho cackles, with Eddie responding by hitting him across the jaw again, knocking him further back. Shut up and die! The truth is, Eddie can hear him. He can hear them all since he bonded with all of the codexes. Cartage's arm snaps out, gripping Brock by the throat, lifting him up. And he throws him away, crashing into another building. Cartage glides over to him on his new wings, taunting him. I can see through the eyes of every one of my horde! Do you know what I see? Below, the heroes are fighting against Carnage's horde, his cult, all of his followers, with even Ben Grimm starting to get overwhelmed. Hold them back! We just need time! Captain America orders them, and in the next room, Osborne has his arm around Peter Parker's throat. The hero bloody and bruised as he is trying to protect Eddie's son. You know what happens next, don't you? Carnage asks, stalking forward. I kill you, and I have everything that Null needs to grind this world into paste! <laughs> Why fight it? Give me your codex, and together we can rule this world! But Eddie interrupts him as he struggles to his feet. Cletus, I'm begging you, for once in your life, shut up! I don't care about your god. I don't care about you. All I know is I'm taking my symbiote back, and I'm putting you in your grave. And he can see through the eyes of the Horde as well, and he sees the reinforcements are arriving. Other heroes who have worn the symbiotes, turning the tide of battle. Carnage screams in anger as Eddie is charging at him, slamming him hard into the wall, and then knocking him off of the rooftop. Below, Spider-Man slams his fist into Osborn, knocking the villain to the ground with a mighty blow. He turns back to the two children. Okay, boys, don't worry. All good. He's down. You're, you're safe. Spider-Man then falls to the ground, unconscious, as Dylan and Normie stand over him. I think he's asleep, Dylan nods. And as Carnage and Venom fight through the air together, the psycho begins to laugh again, telling Eddie, You are going to lose! You're going to lose your little boy! <laughs> Inside the room, the symbiote begins to crawl off of Norman Osborn, sliding across the room towards the kids. Get behind me, Normie! Dylan orders, and in the air, Eddie begins to steer them, his fist cracking into carnage again and again. Dylan, no! He's screaming out, and in the room, Dylan's eyes fade to black with a swirl of a codex behind him. The symbiote grows closer, its jaws opening in a jagged grin. You know what? 
I hate all this symbiote crap! He snarls, and the symbiote is suddenly blasted to pieces, spraying it across the room. Normie is shocked, asking Dylan what he did. But the boy passes out, and Normie barely catches him before he falls to the ground. The roof begins to collapse up above as Eddie and Carnage explode through it, with the monster crawling across the floor weakened, and he reaches out for Eddie's son. It's over, Daddy! Little Dylan is the last piece I need! He cackles as Eddie is grabbing at his foot. The symbiote snakes out, wrapping around both children. You've already lost. I kill the boy. I take his codex. Maybe that's enough. Maybe I wake up our god. I'm willing to take that bet. Carnage stands, lifting Dylan into the air. But if you kill me to protect him, if you take your symbiote back, you complete the circle. Eddie struggles to his feet, finally realizing that this was Cletus's plan all along. You see, I win, I win, I lose, I win. <laughs> he laughs, revealing his corpse-like face beneath the mask. I kill your son, or you kill the world. And he stares at the villain for a moment until the symbiote begins to form a blade within his hands. Fine! Screw the world! He snarls as he stabs out with the symbiote blade. Get away from my son! The blade slashes through Carnage's spine, severing it. And he rips back and the corpse of Cletus Cassidy falls to the ground, dead once more. The symbiote wraps around Eddie, bonding with him, and he can hear Venom screaming in his head, asking what he's done. The hive is complete. The symbiotes have bonded, and Eddie can see it. In the darkness of space, the planet that has become the cell for the dark god Null swirls with Klintar. Deep within its core, Null awaits when suddenly his eyes snap open. He bellows and the Klintar that are holding him there are thrown away. But they begin to return, sliding over the body of the fallen god, melding with him and bonding with him. Others forming horrid creatures. Null is coming. And back on Earth, Eddie stares in the sky, the rain pouring onto his face. Uh, did we win? Spider-Man asks as he struggles to his feet. Yeah, Pete, we won, Eddie tells him. The two stand with Spider-Man telling him, I'm gonna go check on the others. We good? After a brief pause, Eddie pulls Spider-Man in for a hug. We're good, Pete. Thanks for everything. I, I owe you, seriously. Hell, we are whatever we are to each other, right? Spider-Man leaves, taking Normie with him, and alone, Eddie and Dylan sit on the ground, resting from their ordeal. The two sit, staring off, lost in their own thoughts, and then Dylan finally asks, Uh, did you say that I was your son? And that concludes the Absolute Carnage event right here at Comic Story and right over at Marvel's Summer Events. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we've been doing this now for, what, like three months? Every week, we've been pre pretty much doing an absolute Carnage chapter or a maximum Carnage chapter. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you enjoyed this and you want to see what's happening next over at DC, because we're going to be doing the Year of the Villain stuff, very similar to this, and we're going to be doing whatever the next thing that Marvel's got planned out, consider subscribing to our channel. We've been doing this for a while now. We've been doing these videos for almost five years. And basically, I try to keep you caught up on your favorite comic book storylines, your favorite video game storylines, your favorite movie storylines. We have a lot of stuff that we do over here. And I'd really appreciate you joining our little family. Join the comic story and army over here. If you want to get early access to a lot of our content, you can easily join us over at Patreon or join the YouTube memberships. We try to give you at least a day access. The overall goal is to give you a full three-day, full early access to everything we do here. And you can also find us over at Twitter, at Comic Story. We love to chat about comic books, video games, movies, whatever you just feel like talking about for the day. Trust me, I actually do respond because I'm actually looking at it. Just don't ask a question that I can't answer. That's pretty much all I got to do. For each and every one of you who has watched this series since we started doing it three months ago, awesome. Thank you. Every week we know we have you guys watching these videos, excited to see how it's going to resolve. But now the ultimate question, what do you think is going to happen now that Null is awake? Do you think we're going to get another Carnage type event, but not as crazy? Do you think that Null is going to battle against all of the Marvel Universe? This is no longer going to be a self-contained Venom style event. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen next? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're still listening, seriously, thank you so much for the time that you give us. Your 10 minutes of your day watching our videos. It really means a lot to me. Thank you.